Saturn with its series of rings, dubbed the jewel in the solar system's crown. Leading inevitably to the ultimate question, are we alone in the universe? A question gradually moving from the realms of science fiction to real science. Saturn's got a ton of mysteries. That's what I'm telling you. That's it. Even the NASA robot agrees. The universe still holds many secrets. Our solar system and the universe and our galaxy are filled with mysteries. And I'm guessing a lot of the answers we think we know, we got totally wrong. And I want to say again, I think the accretion disk theory is totally silly. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Hey, baby, what are these strange scarlet streaks spotted on Tethys other than astronomy, journalism, alliteration? Well, I don't know, so let us read the article by Jason Major, and maybe we'll figure it out. This grand new celestial mystery was brought to us on July 29th, 2015. Enhanced color image from Cassini showing red streaks on Saturn's moon Tethys. Feel free to correct me on the pronunciation if I'm not quite getting it right. And is it just me, or isn't Tethys a dinosaur? Do we name a moon after a dinosaur? And also, I know a lot of you are scared of the planet Saturn, the same way a lot of people are scared of numbers and symbols. And remember, only you give power to those things which you fear. And there's nothing to fear here but fear itself. Resembling what the skin on my arms looks like after giving a cat a bath, the surface of Saturn's moon Tethys is seen above in an extended color composite from NASA's Cassini spacecraft, showing strange, long red streaks. Now, before people freak out and say that everything NASA tells us and shows us is a lie, I want to let you know this is a blue pill video. Uh, red pill videos would be kind of short. You know, they're like, everything NASA tells us is a lie, and then you're in the video. So that, that's not very exciting. And if you break down extremely well how certain entities might be lying to the people, that's dangerous, man. Red pill videos are really dangerous. If you hit the targets really well with a simple strike, they get really, really, really pissed off. And remember, certain entities are made up of defense contractors who make their living making weapons that kill people. So, you know, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, this is not a red pill video. We're just discussing the data that we've been given. And we're covering a article by Jason Major where he's let us know he's a cat man. That's cool. I'm a dog and horse man. I'm okay with dogs. I'm okay with cats, though. I just don't have any. These crazy scratches stretch for long distances across the moon's surface, following the rugged terrain, continuing unbroken over hills and down into craters. And their cause isn't known yet. Well, obviously, it had moon sex recently. Now, I don't know how a moon has sex, but uh, it's just obvious that that's what this is. According to a NASA news release, the origin of the features and their reddish color is currently a mystery to Cassini scientists. Possibilities being studied include ideas that the reddish material is exposed ice with chemical impurities, or the result of outgassing from inside Tethys. The streaks could also be associated with features like fractures that are below the resolution of the available images, or artificial intelligence jello that is condensed to its finest form down from Grey Goo. Grey Goo evolve? That's, that's a stupid thought. These images were taken by Cassini during a flyby of the 660 mile wide Tethys on April 11th, 2015, at a resolution of about 2,300 feet per pixel. They were acquired in visible green, infrared, and ultraviolet light wavelengths. And so the composite image reveals colors our eyes can't directly perceive. Well, that's sweet. The combination of this and the solar illumination needed to image this particular area as the spacecraft pass by are why these features haven't been seen so well until now. Just another moon mystery, baby. The red arcs really popped out when we saw the new images, said Cassini participating scientist Paul Schenk of the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston. It's surprising how extensive these features are. Extended color mosaic of Tethys from Cassini images acquired on April 11th. The region where the streaks are is outlined for your purposes, for your presentation. While the nature 
of Tethys streaks isn't understood. The observations do indicate a relatively young age compared to the surrounding surface. The red arcs must be geologically young because they cut across older features like impact craters. But we don't know their age in years, said Paul Helfenstein, a Cassini imaging scientist at Cornell University in Ithaca. If the stain is only a thin colored veneer on the icy soil, exposure to the space environment at Tethys surface might erase them on relatively short time scales. What is a relatively short time scale to a scientist, by the way? That I do not know. Could these arcs be signs of an underground ocean or reservoir of briny liquid, like in Cladius, tiger stripes, aka Solkae, or the streaks that crisscross Europa's ice, or are they the results of infalling material from one or more of Saturn's other moons? More observations with Cassini, now in the 11th year in orbit around Saturn, are being planned to study the streaks. We are now planning an even closer look at one of the Tethys red arcs in November to see if we can tease out the source and the composition of these unusual markings, said Linda Spilker, Cassini project scientist at the Jet Propulsion Lab. Oh, if it's JPL, you know it's straight up, no witchcraft involved whatsoever. But if any of those people come around your apartment, don't leave any fingernail clippings or hairs around, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? All right, so what are the strange red markings on Tethys? Is it Saturn Mojo Voodoo? Is it a red herring? Is it a grant propulsion system for science and academia? Who knows, man? Saturn is a planet of mysteries. Like I said, a lot of people are scared of it. I'm like, why are you scared of a planet? You know? Baking. Maybe the moon is a cake and Saturn is going to eat it. And so it was writing its name on the planet before, you know, it's like happy birthday Saturn. But it has different language. Um, maybe it's rivers of blood. The enemies of JPL are disposed on that planet to be locked in some evil spell state for a while. No? Okay. Uh, I think, you know, the safe answer would just be like, it's plasma. You're just laying there. All right, I'm going to go with moon sex fingernails. Feel free to come up with your own theory down in the comments. Thank you. I appreciate it. God bless everybody. Talk to you soon. Even the NASA robot agrees. Saturn has a bunch of mysteries. So we're going to diggity, 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 diggity dive into them. It's got rings. How'd they get there? Nobody knows. It's giant. It's got storms. It's got lightning. It's got giant moons bigger than planets. They have lakes, oceans, alien water. That's what I'm calling it. That's a Thor News term. And I'm going to guess life. Sweet. Sweet. It's got more moons than they can give names to. It's got so many moons. They got up to like 50 or 60. Like crap, we're running out of mythology. We're going to have to wait. They <laughs> like come up with some new myths. And that's going to be a while because I think right now, myths are illegal. Science, religion, and government all agree that new mythologies shall for hereforth be illegal. As long as Osmandius rules.